Oh hi, I'm the heretic. I know I missed last month's Q&A, but I'm here now, so let's do this. We know that ethics are objective, but what about morality? Is morality objective too? Morality is the application of ethics, so they're in an interesting area where they are both subjective but cannot deviate from objective ethics without ceasing to be ethical and are therefore immoral. Think of it like this. Something can be immoral but ethical, but nothing can be unethical and moral. Homosexuality, for example. Christianity claims it's sinful and sin is immoral. Homosexuality is immoral to Christians, but it's not unethical. Does having life across an infinite number of universes mean I have immortality? I see where you're going with this. Personally, I don't think there's an infinite number of universes, but a transfinite number, since the number of variables that could possibly result in another alternate universe, though unimaginably vast, is finite. But for all intents and purposes, the idea is that across a vast number of universes, another instance of you continues to live, even beyond your natural lifespan in at least one of them. This idea is called quantum immortality. Assuming multiverse theory is correct, and there are a transfinite number of alternate universes, then yes, an instance of you would almost certainly continue to exist. However, the instance of you in this universe would not be alive, assuming we can't become immortal through technological advancement. Here's a question. If human beings don't have rights prior to conception, would it be ethical for a couple to use in vitro fertilization to create an embryo with horrific genetic illnesses intentionally and then carry that embryo with the genetic illness to term, all done with the expressed intention of cruelty? Intentionally inflicting disease, even genetic diseases on someone, is wildly unethical. And in case you're wondering, Black Spruce, no. Carrying that kid to term is not unethical. Inflicting them with a disease is. There's a difference. What's worse, the glow-in-the-dark CIA Somalis, the water-soluble CIA crackers, or the nano-CIA Jews? Probably the CIA nano-Jews. The CIA Somalis glow in the dark. You can see them if you're driving. You just run them over. It's what you do. The water-soluble CIA crackers are also easy to deal with. Just throw water at them. The nano-CIA Jews, well, if you can't see them, you can't fight them. And most people don't think to keep gold with them at all times, to throw as bait if they think CIA Jews are nearby. So, yeah, they're the hardest to deal with. What technologies do you think will make a comeback after the fall of the government? Nuclear energy, for sure. Hydrogen fuel cells as well. Opposition to the circumcision of infants is obvious from an anarchist perspective. What about from a religious perspective, where God commanded boys to be circumcised on the eighth day of life in Leviticus 12.3? Also, corporal punishment against children? People often justify it with Proverbs 13.24. Any comments? Circumcision is a barbaric mutilation of a human hatchling with no rational basis or justification outside of a book in the Old Testament. This is why Christians shouldn't take the Bible literally. Same thing with corporal punishment. The non-aggression principle applies to children too. I mean, for goodness sake, any pet training guide will warn you, will cause them to become more aggressive and fearful, yet somehow we're expected to believe that treating your own hatchlings Worse than we treat animals will yield better results? Come on, man. Now my commentary on the Bible passages themselves, well, rules from Leviticus and Deuteronomy, they're no longer useful for the most part. And that's a good thing. At the time, these rules were, in fact, huge moral innovations, far more peaceful and reasonable than previous. I mean, hitting your child, while hugely unethical, is preferable to killing them. The fact that we see those rules as barbaric from our modern understanding of objective ethics only shows how far we've come. Who knows, maybe in 500 years, people will look back on the non-aggression principle as barbaric. I don't know. But either way, don't take those rules literally. They were useful for their time, but they are dangerous today. That's the end of this Q&A session. Thank you so much to all my Patreons who help support this show. I couldn't do it without you. As for you, dear viewers, even if you can't support me financially, you can still rate my videos and share them with your friends and family. It helps a lot more than you realize. If you want to ask questions on these Q&As, become my patron, link in the description, and drop a question on the Patreon channel of my Discord channel, which I will include a link to as well in the description. 
Anyways, thank you again, and I'll see you soon.